you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how you guys should be building your Madden 21 Ultimate Team the first few days, the first week, first month is kind of as applicable. So, the thing with making this video is pretty much every year the game comes out and people are always in a scramble on how to build their team. Some people go the route of buying the best cards in the block. Some people go the route of the early budget team. Some people go the route of not spending a single coin until they finish all their solos and they max my level. They don't even head online now. Me personally, where have I fallen on those? For the majority of my Madden career since Madden 13, I usually, as of lately specifically, fall under the last one, which is I typically save every last coin for like the first few days. I play every solo, every journey, all the gauntlets, everything get max my level, I do all that, and then I have like 500k saved up, no joke, like all the solos, all the the level up rewards, like the 30k, the 30k, the packs, the this, the that, I end up having like 500k, and it feels pretty good, it feels pretty good when you save all that, and I even do some sniping in between, I use the coins that I get to snipe a little bit, like I'll pick up some base leads day one that are way underpriced, and then sell them back when the game actually drops after you get access, so it's kind of like using money to make money kind of a scheme, now I like to do that the first week specifically, of uh, EA access, kind of mess around with that, that's just why I feel like there's so much more you can do. Because I feel like some people get caught in the trap of, oh, guys, now this doesn't apply to people who buy packs like heavy money spenders. You're going to have a ton of coins. Like, you really can just do what you want. But this more applies for the no money spent, guys. Now, in my opinion, what you don't want to be doing is hopping on this game instantly, getting your first, like, 100, that 100K, and buying the best available player. Like, okay, uh, I'll take I'll take Byron Jones, 87 overall elite. Let's say 85 overall, whatever he is. I'll take him. That's a quick 70K. And I'm broke again. Go play more solos. Ooh, we got 70K. I'm going to go buy a... Uh, Let's see, a basically running back and basically wide receiver. All right, I'm broke again. Now the Legends drop the following week. Legends of Elites drop a little bit in the slightest bit. Now you're like, oh, I want those Legends. Let me go sell these Elites. Sell them all, buy one Legend. Now you're down to one player for a whole team. You could have been using all those coins, and you're not even playing online. That's the other thing. In my opinion, don't buy your team until you plan to start really hitting the weekend league and online. That's just my personal opinion, because that's what you need it for. You don't need, you don't need a good team to compete offline. You really don't. If, if you know how to play... You can pretty much win with about any team you have offline. So that's why I pretty much recommend you do that. Especially a lot of solos like uh, this year were pretty much giving you teams. Like there was the solos where you got Drew Brees at quarterback. And they give you players to play with. So like sometimes you don't even get to use your players. So my personal route for next year, probably follow that same build. Now, much more that goes into this. But guys, before we get into today's video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on anybody, boys, come join the family. We are approximately, possibly 8 to 10 days out from Madden 21. I'm super excited, guys. So make sure to hit that sub button. Come join the fam. Looking forward to this, guys. We got a lot going on these next few weeks. I'm going to be adding some things to the channel, uh, changing some things, updating some stuff. A lot of big things coming, hopefully. New uh, new thumbnail scheme, new edits, new graphics, new everything. So hopefully we can get that all before Madden 21 drops. But moving on to the team building aspect. So the first week on the auction block, it's going to be kind of weird. Now, I explained this in the other video about coins and what to do the first week. But guys, one of the most important things you want to do is when you come onto the game, you're going to want to take, take a feel of the auction block. So you're going to come on. I want you guys to just look because people are going to come on and want just don't set yourself to buying one player. Like some people are going to be like, I'm buying Saquon day one. Now, yes, that's a fair. I probably want to do the same thing, but take a lay of the auction block. You're going to notice that there's players with similar stats for way cheaper. So if you guys remember a player. OK, so there was Earl Thomas, right? Earl Thomas week one was like 150, 60 K people. People wanted him. And that's just a fact of the matter. So, oh, it's going to be hard to set this guy. In. OK, so. Earl Thomas, you guys don't remember, Earl Thomas was a, let's see, the thing with Earl Thomas was he was about 160k, he wasn't that fast, he couldn't hit, had a good zone, people wanted him because he was the best free safety, now we move out of here, so there was other safeties that were way cheaper, such as a guy like Jamal Adams, now obviously they don't play free safety, but it's the first week, you really don't have to be uh, position specific at that point, there's a guy by the name of Jamal Adams who was an 84 overall, was significantly cheaper. I believe he was like 45-50k, almost 100k cheaper, and he was faster, had better hit power, good play rec, decent zone, decent enough man. He could pretty much do everything, and he was able to stop the run, which was very run heavy to start the year. So I'm saying like, obviously, he's not as great in zone, but Earl Thomas is super slow and super tiny. You can get a guy like Jamal, who was, Jamal is one of the best safeties for quite a while to start the year. So save yourself 100k there. Don't go for the best overall, because that's what people do. They want to go for the best overall. Now here, moving on, is one of the most important things I could tell you guys advice-wise for building your team week one. And as people fail to do, and guys, it's called just being coin efficient. Now what I mean by that is the first week you're going to realize 
you get a lot of free things the first week. So let's let's get into this. So you're gonna start with your pre-order packs. When you get your pre-order packs, there's gonna be 32 elites. You get to take one of them, one from each team. It's gonna be like 80 overalls. Do not do not pick a position that you're gonna get for free. So do not take your pre-order packs right away. The thing I recommend: go into solo challenges, look through all the free stuff they offer you. Go through all the free stuff. Be like, okay, so we get a free cornerback here, a free tight end here, a free running back here, a free defensive end. Perfect. So now with my player order packs, I can take, um, maybe take, uh, let's see, a wide receiver. If we didn't get one of those, we can take a defensive tackle. We can take another cornerback because the cornerbacks are depth position. So you got to look at it like that. So Because the worst thing you could do is be like, oh, cool. Uh, I'm going to take a left end Joey Bosa for 80 overall. Then you get into the solos. There's a left end Deacon Jones and that 86 again. It's like, oh, okay, so. Yeah, I messed that one up. Joey Bosa went to, went to crap. That's it. So make sure you're being real. Like, like just be observ- observant of what's going on. Now, here's the other thing beyond even that. Beyond even that. The best thing I recommend when it comes to the coin and spending, do not buy cards so you get your free cards. The thing with spending your coins day one, let's say you go ahead and you buy yourself a nice player like a Julio Jones, right? But the free player you get is a Stefan Diggs. And Julio Jones is an 87 overall, Stefan Diggs is an 86. He's slightly worse than Julio, but pretty close. Coin-wise, the smartest thing to do is to get the, to take the free Diggs, sell the Julio, keep the coins. But now you're kind of spoiled by Julio, and you kind of want to keep him, and you just love Julio, and you're like, screw it, I don't care for those coins. So now you just wasted a free player. What you could have done is use Diggs and use the Julio money on a, on a really good defensive lineman in a pass rushing year. So that is why I don't really like to get my players right away, just for this pure fact of that you might fall in love with them, and then you end up doing dumb things with your coins. Smartest thing to always do is just literally build the best possible team without spending a coin. And then once you reach that point, fill in the holes. So last year I got my Baker Mayfield, my Deacon Jones, my uh, Marshall Lattimore, whatever else, my Tory Holt up, my Patrick Tillman up. I was like, okay. I do need a running back. We didn't get one of those, so I bought myself a Saquon Barkley. I do need a defensive lineman on the other side of Deacon Jones. Bought myself one there. Oh, I got a free Damon Harrison for my level up pack. That goes right there. Like, and then eventually I filled in a whole team and I still had a ton of coins left over because I wasn't using them and losing them on reduction back and forth and the market moving in between. So that's personally what I'm going to recommend doing for the first week. Now, again, there's three people. If you're a money spender, figure out which players are rising, figure out which players are getting getting rid of. Make sure you sell your packs off in the right way or keep the players depending on what you think. Obviously, we'll know more as the, you know the, the week comes of Madden and the, the game starts up. But if you're a money spender, your, your game plan changes a little bit. You still want to get those free players, but you can use those free players differently. You can put them into sets to create packs, get better players you can sell, or you can go ahead and sell them for training to upgrade all the players if you're a money spender. If you're an, if you're an in-between guy, like you buy the level of packs and do that, I more or less recommend you always just get your coins first and you go ahead and build the best possible no-money spend team you can until you go ahead and use the auction block. And then once, like, the, well, after the first week, that's when the game plan changes, when, like, the online play opens up and week and league opens up, and you're like, okay, time to compete. But guys, the best advice I can give you guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on about boys, give, give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, hopefully you guys like all the new channel changes coming pretty soon for the new season. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Make sure to sub. Like I said, it's really important, guys. New season coming up. Hopefully a lot of you guys start returning pretty soon. I'm out. Peace.